You ever wonder how planes fly? I don't wonder. I just do. I just survived from from that plane attack. So here's what's going on. We gotta figure out how a plane actually flies. Let's do it. Every airplane's got a couple of forces acting on it. These forces include the force of weight, which comes from gravity and is equal to m times g. There's also the force of drag, which is because of air resistance or wind against the plane. And then there's a force that actually helps keep the plane in the air, and that's lift. Uh, created by the wings and finally you have one last force that helps the plane move forward and that's the force of thrust generated by the engine these four forces if they're in equilibrium aka the net force is zero then the plane is stationary in the air in other words if the plane is moving it'll keep on moving with a constant velocity if it's at rest well it'll stay on the runway but if the plane wants to accelerate it's got to tip its nose at an angle of attack right so that's an airport that's a cross-section of an airplane wing. Now, what happens when the airplane wing is tilted at an angle of attack like this? An angle of attack just means that the airplane's nose is pointed up at some angle, let's say theta. Now, what happens is you've got air molecules everywhere. Remember, air is gas. What happens is all of these air molecules on the bottom, they start hitting the plane violently, right? And, and bouncing up. It's almost like it's almost like they're pushing the plane upwards, right? On the other hand, the molecules on the top, they also hit the airfoil, but maybe just not as violently, right? So you've got all these bouncing molecules, and you've got a lot of high velocity molecules on the top, and so high velocity, by Bernoulli's principle, creates a low pressure. But, on the other hand, the highly moving kinetic energy molecules have a high velocity. On the bottom of the airfoil, we have a high pressure created by the low velocity. This high pressure is due to the low velocity or low kinetic energy of the molecules in the bottom of the airfoil. And so you have a pressure differential, right? So remember, pressure is given as force per unit area. So a higher pressure means a greater force from the bottom of the airfoil. On the other hand, a low pressure from the top means a smaller force from the top of the airfoil. And so the higher force from the bottom counteracts the smaller force on the top, and so you have a net force that generates lift for the airplane. Now, you might think, hey, why is low pressure due to a high velocity? Shouldn't high velocity be due to a high pressure? But be careful, remember Bernoulli's principle? Bernoulli's principle basically says, due to conservation of energy, if you have an increase in velocity, you need to have a decrease in pressure, even though that might be counterintuitive. And that's how planes fly. Hasta la vista. You ever wonder how planes fly?